I would like to call up Eamon Jaffrey. Um, Eamon has just completed a six-week internship with Metro News Ottawa, where she worked as a story and content uh, producer, I suppose. And uh, she was also uh, one of the first in our, in, she was one of the first to complete our multimedia and multicultural internship program. Uh, and she's from Ottawa, and she's going to be joining us tonight to talk about her experiences, her very interesting and unique experience with the media. Welcome, Eamon. Instead, what I said was, it's pronounced Amen, actually. It's Urdu. 
And after a while, it felt like I was repeating the lines of a script. I remember secretly envying recognizable and popular names, such as Amy and Jessica. These were Canadian names. They didn't provoke questions about origin. They were accepted at face value and were easy to spell and pronounce. My name did none of these things. I could not wear proudly because it emphasized my difference more than I already felt in physical appearance or as a person of color. If I had a common name, then at least a then at least on a superficial level or on paper, I would not need to feel that difference. As a teenager, I did succeed in carrying out this fantasy online, using the moniker Amy in the Haiti of chat rooms. Amy was easiest to adopt, since most people mistook my name for any way when I introduced myself. It was a thrill to assume a name not particularly associated with any race or culture, but by default meant white. It gave me a clean slate to work with, and it meant I could assume any personality I wanted. I didn't have to stand out in any way. I could easily blend in with everyone else on the internet. Of course, that anonymity is what attracts a lot of people to the online world, but in my case, it felt extra meaningful. Once offline, though, I never felt comfortable about adopting the name Amy. Even then, I knew it meant betraying part of my heritage. With age and increased confidence, it's easier for me to look at the past and wonder why I chose to respond as I did. At the time, I felt like those were the only appropriate reactions, and I felt frustration at the world for forcing me to experience those emotions. But now I see it was me. Yes, my name is different. Yes, some people may perceive it as strange. One former friend, as I recall, compared it to naming a kid Hallelujah. But, so what? My name's one aspect of me, but it doesn't define me. Sometimes I wonder how my life would have turned out if I'd had a confident, gregarious, and outgoing personality. Perhaps, perhaps then I might have grown up blocking my name instead of cowering behind it. We live and we learn. I learned to embrace my name because, because it is the most personal connection I have to my late grandfather. My name was his first gift to me, a gift sealed by his wit, artistic sensibility, and spiritual devotion. Amen to that. <laughs> Joe, the average Joe. 
Um, and even, like a, for example, a Chinese Canadian friend of mine whose name was Jessica, she said she always wished she had a more Asian sounding name because when she, if, if she didn't meet somebody in person, they would assume she was white and she kind of felt disconnected and she wanted to feel like she was representing something more Asian, I guess. So I, I actually found that really, really interesting. It, it really surprised me. Um, and then, uh, and then with the radio documentary, one thing that was interesting was that this was actually something that happened last week. Um, I thought that the actor that was hired to portray my grandfather was a Jewish actor because his name was Sam Moses. Um, so I wrote this scolding letter to the CBC saying, you know, like you did a great job in the documentary, thank you for that. But I just want to say that it was kind of insulting that you hired a Jewish actor to portray my grandfather with an Indian accent. I think you could have done, done better and you know actually used an Indian or Pakistani actor. And they wrote back to me. <laughs> they said that Sam Moses is actually an Indian actor. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>